Millions of people get sick every year from contaminated food, and finding the source of the contamination isn't easy, but that could be changing. We're working for you to break down a new plan aimed at reducing the number of foodborne illnesses and deaths. No matter how hard he tries, Elliot Weiler will never forget that time he had salmonella. It just really kind of like knocks you out in a way that, at least for me, had never happened before. Every year, an estimated 48 million Americans get sick from bacteria and viruses in their food. Now the Food and Drug Administration is trying to reduce the number of illnesses with its food traceability rule, which covers foods through their entire supply chain. This new record keeping process is going to mean that everyone who touches the food from the grower who grows it to the supermarket that sells it or the restaurant that serves it is going to have to keep track of the food in the exact same way. That means assigning a code to potentially riskier foods, those prone to contamination, such as soft cheeses, eggs, leafy greens, nut butters, and tomatoes, so they can be tracked more efficiently. In some cases, this new rule may make it even easier for food to be identified as potentially harmful before it even hits the market and gets into the hands of consumers. Meat and poultry are not included since they're regulated by the USDA, not the FDA. Consumer Reports says the new plan isn't perfect, but it's better than what's currently in place. Right now, record keeping of this type is, is incomplete and inconsistent. So this will standardize everything and it will make it easier for people to follow the food back. Something Elliot is looking forward to. If it could prevent future cases of food poisoning, that's a win-win for everybody. 